Dr. Ivan Kal and let's talk about how to build a diversified mutual fund portfolio in this video. Uh, this was inspired by yesterday's uh, video on, uh, on, on the tool that was published uh, comparing mutual fund portfolios and looking for common stocks. Uh, there were several questions uh, from uh, readers, users. I did not uh, address uh, in, the brief, uh, in the video. Sandeep asked how to use this portfolio. Then somebody asked, should I even use this portfolio? Should I even bother uh, worrying about common stocks between uh, my mutual funds? And uh, Amar had asked uh, what percentage of overlap uh, between two funds is okay. And I to that I had uh, replied, uh, just choose funds with different strategies and then it would be okay. And uh, for that, there was another question by Koshi. You had asked by different strategy, do you mean different categories? So I think to answer all these questions, um, I think it's best to have a video on how to build a diversified uh, portfolio. We'll get to that. So first of all, uh, who should use the portfolio overlap uh, comparison tool. Uh, the tool is linked below. You, who should use it? So um, many people have multiple funds in their portfolio. Um, they have uh, 7, 8, 10, 15, 20 funds. So they should, people like that, For what they should do is first to sort the mutual funds by category, by their current category and then they should take all the funds in the same category and punch it in the uh, portfolio comparison tool and look at the portfolio overlap. For many of the funds, the overlap will be significant. I would say anything above, okay, you can, uh, anything above 40% is significant. 40% to 30% is okay, 20% is very good, 10% is even better. Uh, but uh, we'll draw the line at 40% and say above 40% is uh, high overlap and below that is sort of acceptable. And uh, 30, below 30 is much better, but 30 to 40 is acceptable overlap. That's of course a rough, uh, what can I say? classification. So people who have got multiple uh, mutual funds in their portfolio should first use this tool, sort the funds by category, then enter the funds in one category into the tool. You can compare five funds, you can enter, I hope you don't have more than five funds in one category in your portfolio. Uh, recognize that many of them will have above 40% overlap, get rid of. So if you have three funds with more than 40% overlap among each other, then you need only one of them get rid of the other two. So this tool can be used to declutter portfolios. That's the major aim. And the other problem I see is many people have this mindset that they will have a scattergun approach. See, already when you are uh, going from uh, investing in direct equity to mutual funds, you are already employing a scattergun approach. Scattergun means uh, a gun which will shoot pellets. That is for people who in the olden days, for people who did not know how to shoot properly, who, who, who could not hit a target with a, with a uh, single bullet, they will be given the pellet gun. So if they just uh, point in that direction and uh, uh, pull the trigger, the pellets will spray and at least some of the pellets will hit the target. That's called a scatter gun approach. And so already from going from uh, individual stocks, picking individual stocks to mutual funds, whether it is index fund or active managed funds, you are going from uh, uh, um, uh, you have a gun with a clear bullet to a scattergun approach. In that, within that scattergun approach, many people claim, okay, let us take three three funds from the multi-cap category and start SIPs in it. Let us take three mid-cap funds and start it. What kind of uh, logic is that? I don't understand. People who are claiming that's a good strategy should take those three multi-cap funds, to, should take those three mid-cap funds, punch them in this overlap, uh, mutual fund overlap tool. They will recognize that there, there is a significant overlap among these funds. Well, there is no need for three multi-cap funds, there is only need for one multi-cap fund. There is no need for three mid-cap funds, there is only need for one, one mid-cap fund. In fact, if you already own a multi-cap fund, there is no need for a mid-cap fund. That is the, that should be the way to go. So. The portfolio overlap tool is built for uh, with such users in mind and people who are new, new investors who have just started investing in mutual funds, they should be looking at building a diversified portfolio uh, which is minimalist in approach. So what is the best way to build a diversified portfolio which is minimalist? Buy one fund. 
one equity mutual fund. Let's not, we will talk about the fixed income options later. We'll only look at the equity part of the portfolio. Buy one equity mutual fund, and that is your diversified uh, portfolio. That is it. Don't buy more than one. What should be that fund? That depends on your personality. If you, uh, my suggestion would be, start with a aggressive hybrid fund. If you cannot, uh, if you are a beginner, it will be a good idea to start with an aggressive hybrid fund. You don't have to worry about uh, you. You you get guaranteed risk uh, protection for active management. Just one aggressive hybrid fund is enough. If you want to even better risk management, go with a multi-asset fund or go with a balanced advantage fund. That would be even better risk management at the cost of some returns. But that's I think it's good enough. You don't need any other fund to build a port diversified portfolio, in my opinion. Just buy one aggressive hybrid fund if you can manage some, if you have some risk tolerance. Other people can choose the other options I just said. Uh, lower people with lower uh, risk tolerance can choose the other options. That is all. You don't need to buy any more. Do not add one mid cap fund. Do not add one small cap fund. Don't do all this nonsense. Please stay away from all this nonsense. This is the simplest way to build a diversified portfolio. If you want to do it with multiple funds, then um, uh, you, you must uh, tell yourself, look, my strategy should be such that whenever I look at the portfolio overlap, the overlap should be low, it should be 10%, 20%, not more than that. Then there are very simple ways to do it with multiple funds. See, if you buy only one fund, there's no need to worry about port overlap at all. That's the best option I would recommend. But if you want to do it with two funds, three funds, do it with two funds. Don't do it three. Three, we are asking for trouble. Buy, let us say you buy a large cap fund, it can, um, if you want, let us not get into active versus passive debate. My suggestion is buy your nifty fund, you are guaranteed there will be 50 stocks, large cap stocks. So buy one nifty fund, then you can buy another mid cap fund. There the overlap between the mid cap and the large cap uh, between the nifty will be minimal. It should not be, uh, buy a mid cap fund with not too much AUM, then you can make sure the min uh, uh, overlap is minimal. That is all. That mid cap fund will already hold some small caps. So you don't need a separate small cap. So one large cap fund, which is the nifty plus one mid cap fund, you have got a diversified portfolio in equity. The overlap will be low. It is as simple as that. Don't add any more funds. That's it. Less is more. When it comes to diversification, especially with mutual funds, less is more. The lesser the number of funds, the better diversified you are. Because already a mutual fund is a scatter kind of approach. So that is how you should use the uh, portfolio overlap tool and this is I, how uh, what I would recommend when it comes to uh, building a diversified portfolio. What, what, uh, what if I have a, a large cap plus small cap plus mid cap fund? You can do it but then the there will be made uh, it will be very difficult for you to choose a mid cap and a small cap where the portfolio overlap is minimal. Even if the overlap is minimal today, it will not be um, minimal at all points of time in future. That is another problem. So that is the reason why I say choose, just keep it small, keep it simple. One large cap fund, one index fund, you know guaranteed it will not stray beyond those 50 funds. Then you choose one mid cap fund which, uh, which uh, with a AUM which is neither high nor too low. Then it will have good amount of small caps in it. It will have good amount of mid caps and it will have very, very small amount of large caps then the overlap will automatically become small. That is it. You can also build a diversified portfolio with Nifty Next 50. I have uh, videos on how to build it with Nifty Next 50. That is it. Don't overthink the problem. Keep it simple. Uh, less is more. So that's how you build a diversified portfolio. Uh, if you have any questions on this, please let me know. Uh, if you have any questions on any other aspect of investing, let me know. Then I'll take it up in the Q&A segment this week. So thank you for... Uh, Listening, I'll catch you later, bye-bye.